in peace of Christ all of you, please invite your friends, and let us have some good time together. Now, I'm sure there's many here, they are excited for the topic, a title, you know. Any title have the vision, uh, you know, the crowd like it. They think we are going to fight here now, like the Catholic is right, or Protestant, or Orthodox. Uh, all of you, I think, you know already what I think about the three uh, churches. And what count for me, and what does not count. But today I decide to give you an example, because there's many, like I see in the comments, some they say, uh, the Pope, he kissed the Quran. But I never saw anyone saying how many bishops from all churches, they defend Islam, and even they defend terrorists. It doesn't matter if they are Protestant, or Orthodox, or Catholic. So it's obviously that the three churches, they are infected with a lot of false teachers. Yet because there's many arrogant people who they are so proud of their names, but don't even know what the name mean. You will see someone, he is proud that he is a Catholic, but what does that mean? Or the other one saying Catholic, they were not, they are not Christians. Why he say that? And then you will see someone posting saying the Catholic, they pray to Mary, which is not true. Catholic asked Mary to pray for them. And then you see another one saying, but Mary is dead. But Catholic don't believe that she is dead. Secondly, a dead person, the body is dead, not the spirit. Because even the Bible says, be aware of those who destroy the, 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 the spirit, not the body. So obviously the spirit is always alive, especially of the good ones. So because they are so proud and so arrogant and so stupid, they are fighting with each other. But about what? Mostly it is nothing but politics and divide and conquer. In the Quran, there's a verse that says, in chapter 5, verse number 14, that Allah, He decided He had a plan for the Christians. And when we say that we're the Christians, this is the only word to describe us as believers in Jesus. In the Bible, there's nothing that's called Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox. So simply, those names have nothing to do with the Bible. It's just the names given to us, so we can divide each other and they can conquer us. The Quran says, and from those who call themselves Christians, which they are convenient, but they abandon a good part of the message that was sent to them. So he planted among them enmity and hatred till the day of resurrection. And this is a proof that Allah is Satan. And this is a proof that those priests who divide you are satanic. It doesn't matter if they are Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox. The Lord, he says, from their fruit you shall know them. And as you see, the fruits of those people, they are in total agreement with the fruit of Satan, the God of Islam. So if you are proud to be a Catholic, good for you. But you are proud about what? Following a priest, dividing us. If you are proud to be a Protestant, good for you. But you are proud about what? Following a priest, divide us. And if you are an Orthodox, proud, so proud, because Orthodox are so proud. You are proud about what? Because of division, you lost your land, you lost churches. Why the Christian don't want to learn how the devil work? I mean, isn't it obvious? It's in front of you. The guy, he told you his plan. Then we got a lot of false teachers who jump to serve the devil a lot. So I say to you, if you are a Christian, uh, Christian is someone who follow Jesus, not someone who follow Orthodox Bishop, or Protestant Bishop, or Catholic Pope. Peace be upon him. Only foolish people, they follow men. Wise people, they follow Jesus. When 
I see comment and the comment are very stupid and very embarrassing and actually many of them they are written by Muslims who claim to be Christians because this is how they divide you a Muslim he go and he post in the text he claimed to be Protestant he insult the Catholic and a naive Catholic he just try he's ready <laughs> he's ready for the fight <laughs> I feel sorry for those people honestly uh, you know you know I, I, I don't uh, sugarcoat things right I don't uh, I say it as it is, who like it, who don't like it. Fix my mic, what's wrong with my mic? Guys, is my mic good? Is my mic fine? Somebody saying, fix your mic. Is my mic good? Please let me know if it's working fine. Maybe you need to fix your ears. Muhammad, he said, if you cannot hear the prayer of Allah, Shaitan, he did piss in your ears. All right, there's an echo. Oh, okay. Let us see. Is it better now? Is it better now? My mic is fine. Okay. Well, I have a cover over my mic actually because I don't want the fan to make noise. Uh, all right. So let us uh, let us be careful here, and I will show you three examples of three liars. They present the three major churches, but in reality they present none of those churches, except the fool. You see, a person in a job, you need you ask yourself how those people even they got the job, like the Pope, how he got the job. You know, if you go behind the scene, you will see that the job is not given to this person because he's good. It is just a pure politics. So there's many churches, they are under the influence of politics. And those who work in the churches in high position, let us say, uh, they are just hired by government, sponsored by government. There is somebody always behind them to be in that job. You know, when the Pope, he said, Muhammad, he brought nothing but evil, the whole world went against him. But he is the Pope of the Catholic. And none of the Protestant or those who claim to be bishop, remember what the guy said. He said, Muhammad, he brought nothing but evil. But they remember that there's a Pope who kiss the Quran. They don't remember the Pope saying, Muhammad, he brought nothing but evil because the devil is a plane. When they want, they see. When they want, they go blind. When they want, they can hear you. When they want, they are deaf. So when a pope he say Islam is a good religion, everybody hey, that's wonderful. The pope says that he is a good person. If the pope he said the truth that Islam is evil, everybody will be against him. And this is what happened to the previous Pope when he said Muhammad is nothing, he brought nothing but evil. So the truth is, when you say the truth, it doesn't matter what the church you are, belong to, your enemy is a huge. When you are a liar, everybody sponsors you. Why I cannot receive donation here in YouTube? Because I don't say what YouTube like me to say. As simple as that. If my channel saying Islam is a wonderful religion, I never speak negative about Islam, do you think YouTube will take down my donation? Never. Do you see YouTube taking donations of even to promote terrorism in their, in their pages? No, we'll never do that. The second you say the truth, you became an enemy to a lot of people. A person who is a hypocrite, he will be sponsored by everybody. So today we are here to, to, to make it clear that first of all, 
A Christian is not somebody his name is a Protestant or Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox. Only naive people think this way. Actually, let me say it more, the stupid people. Literally, you are stupid if you think you are a Christian only if you are a Protestant, or you are a Christian only if you are an Orthodox, or you are a Christian only if you are a Catholic. That's when you do not know Jesus yet. You are so proud and arrogant and stupid. You know, the Bible says many things. And the Bible speaks always of those people who they, we hear them every day saying their false teaching. Chapter 6 Let as many bond servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor, so that the name of God and his doctrine may not be blasphemed. And those who have believing masters, let them not despise them because they are brethren, but rather serve them because those who are benefited are believers and beloved. Teach and exhort these things. If anyone teaches otherwise and does not consent to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which accords with godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing, but is obsessed with disputes and arguments over words, from which come envy, strife, reviling, evil suspicions, useless wranglings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, who suppose that godliness is a means of gain. From such, withdraw yourself. I mean to that. Now godliness with contentment. From such people, withdraw yourself. They are arrogant, they love to dispute, and they forgot what Jesus is about. Suddenly, a person is not a Christian because he's asked merely to pray for him. But why he's not a Christian? Because he asked Mary to pray for him. He is praying to Mary. No, he's not. You are a liar. You are a fraud like Muhammad. He's asking Mary to pray for him. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? You don't know that the word resurrection means that God in the judgment day, he will reunite the spirit, the soul with the body, which means the soul of the person is alive. And the good person, he can pray for you, why not? He can join the rest of the believers. Why that is bad? And let us say for the sake of argument, it is bad. How that will not make him a Christian? Please, these days, they say people have a boyfriend and girlfriend, like Muhammad doing muta. Hey, you say nothing. It's okay. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet her. Oh, she's your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. Uh, okay. He's a priest. You know, he's a. He's like Muhammad. Muta. No, they complain. But the person asked me, Mary, to pray for him. Oh, he's a bad person. The hypocrisy is unlimited and goes beyond. You see, people, they do their sin. But a priest, and he approves sin, is Satan. All of us, we do sin. But who of us dare to say that sin is good? These days, they do. These days, they make the bad good and the good bad. Uh, so we don't want to see negative comment about Protestant and Catholic, otherwise I will ban you. Because the whole point I'm showing you here, that all of you, when you do that, you are stupid. So the one is coming here, he think he is coming to join the club of hatred. He is in the wrong place. You are devilish, you don't belong here. So admins, please, anyone he attacked a Catholic or a Protestant or Orthodox, just block him. Don't even negotiate. 
ban him. What I want to. If you donate, if you make a donation for me, go and take it down. I don't want your donation. We don't tax. We don't bribe. We are not to be bribed by the devil. We are we are here to warn the foolish ones that Christianity have nothing to do with names. Christianity is Jesus, is the Christ. Whoever believe in me and die will live. Not whoever believe in the Pope, not whoever believe in the Protestant, not whoever believe in the Orthodox. There's many people they live like rats and they will die like rats because they never saw the king. They are rats who live inside the box. A Christian person, he been ordered to love even his enemy. Then how in the world you cannot even love your brother in Christ, who love Jesus and worship him, accept him as God, who die in the cross, who accept the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? If you cannot love your brother in Christ, who love Jesus and worship Jesus and accept him as Savior, you are no Christian. You will see the same teacher inviting Muslims to teach about the devil Muhammad who killed Christians, raped Christian women, killed Jewish women, raped Jewish women. They invite them to teach about Islam in their churches, but they will not invite somebody a Catholic or a Protestant or Orthodox. Do you see how much they are divided they are? They invite the devil to recite the devil Quran inside the church. And I can show you an example from all the churches, Protestant, Orthodox, and Catholic inviting somebody to recite the Quran inside the Holy Church. All of you priests who do that, you are a devilish person. And then the Catholic, the, the Catholic, the Protestant, the Orthodox, after they hear the Quran, they say, hey, 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 hey thank you, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you. But the guy was just cursing you in Arabic. The guy, he was just reciting Al-Fatiha, where it says, please Allah, don't make us like the lost Christians and the cursed Jews. When I say stupidity is amazing, I mean it. So, to which stupid organization you belong? That is a question you need to ask yourself. Now I will show you an example of liars. Because we don't want to make accusation with no proofs of, you know, things. I choose, uh, you know, some famous names. Maybe they are not famous for some of you. But for me, I know them very well. Maybe many of you do not know the Pope. Eh, let me introduce to you the Pope. While he was in his flight uh, to the Vatican after five days to visit Poland, the Pope responded to a question from a reporter about links between Islam recent terrorist attack. I mean, the question is, do you think Islam is the reason for this terrorist attack? The Pope, he had the answer for sure. He knew what he's talking about. Yeah, and don't forget to smile because, uh, you know, I'm the Pope. I'm going to teach all the Christians, all the Catholic now, that Islam is a good religion. Yeah, don't forget, please. Don't forget. His Highness is going to talk. Jewelries will come out from his mouth. Eh, credo che non è giusto. Yeah. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but the translation is underneath. He says, I don't think it is right to identify Islam with violence. Can you believe it? And nobody have any comment. We cannot identify what? We cannot ident identify Islam with violence. The question is, do you link terrorism to Islam? The Pope, he is touching his chinny shin, whatever. And he is thinking now, deep thinking. And the question answer is really, I mean, that's I'm so glad he did not get from his nose. I don't think 
Like he, he don't, you don't think. This is the first time I heard that somebody like you think. I think your answers come from the sky. You think you should not think. Maybe God told you the answer. E credo che non è giusto. Yeah, con il giusto, yeah, you know, we have to agree. Hey, bambino, Islam is tiny, tiny, tiny like pizza. Hey, Tony, get us some pizzas from Muhammad. He was a pizza guy. He never killed anybody. He did not rape Christian women. He did not destroy our churches. And he did not kill any Christians. And he did not convert the Christian churches into mosques. And he did not slaughter millions. Islam is very pizza. This is the coward. This is the Pope. Okay, now the Pope, he said that, what about this? This is an Orthodox. <laughs> I'm not going to play because he's speaking Arabic, so you will understand, but he's saying the same. Not only that, this guy, he support terrorist. This guy, he support Hamas. Hamas who kill Christians and kill Jews. He's a bishop. And the funny, you know, when he came to Los Angeles, maybe 50 people, they came to the church to meet him, which means he is nobody for those people here. They understand that he's a fraud, like Muhammad. Okay, let us get, uh, so now we have a Catholic person, an Orthodox person, and we have a Protestant person. This guy is serious, he's a genius. He is the most smart Protestant ever you can meet. And he's a coward. Many times I challenge him to debate me. Last time I was speaking, you know, on David Wood channel, he said, hey, by the way, uh, uh, James White, he say hello to you. I mean, how, what's wrong with those people? This guy, after all what he said, you go and have dinner with him? What a shame. Let us listen to this guy who is nothing but a liar like the Pope like the Orthodox Bishop, they are the same as Muhammad. The fact of the matter is that when someone asks the question, is ISIS Islamic? If anyone answers either yes or no without making necessary distinctions, both are not telling the truth. Mm -hmm. The conservative militaristic Christian who says, yes, that is Islam as a whole is lying. Who is a person here? He agree with this scumbag. So those verses in the Quran and the Hadith says, kill the Christians. Act and do terrorism. Cut the hands, cut the necks. Install terror in the heart of the Christians and the Jews. Those are not from Islam. So the terrorist Christians, according to James White, terrorists, those are terrorist Christians. Militant. They are liars when they say you Islam is ISIS. When I made the challenge, I made many videos for this dummy. And he knew he's a potato. And this is why the hair will never grow on your head. Because if one come, you will take it off. So I can't grab you from there. Thinking that this is the only way I can grab you. Is that Quran? Saying Allah will install terror in the heart of those who disbelieve? saying cut their necks and even cut their fingers and toes even finger and toes so isis is not islamic and whoever says islamic isis is islamic as a whole is a liar well james white he knew what he's talking about abu Huraira reported the father of the cats that the messenger of allah he said I've been in victorious by terror. He was victorious by what? By terror. But 
ISIS is not Islam, my friend. Look like Muhammad is not Islam too. Because obviously, Muhammad is ISIS. And according to the Protestant priest, James White, the one who say Islam is ISIS is a liar. Islam is a very friendly religion. The only thing they do to you, either you convert to Islam or they will, dis, you know, they will, uh, they will erase your race. In Saudi Arabia, there's zero Christian. In Kuwait, there was zero Christian. In Emirat, zero Christian. In Bahrain, zero Christian. And you know, some people they will say to you, "Oh, there's a lot of Christians now. The adults are working there." Lately, there's some convert Christians after Kuwait been freed by uh, USA from Saddam Hussein. So there's Kuwaiti Christians and they have a church. But you will not find citizen in those countries before. And until now, zero, zero citizen in Saudi Arabia, he is a Christian. But all of us, we know there's many that converted to Christianity. Until now, our closest friend, and they call them Elia, you know, like, you know, they are, you know, we have like, uh, they are in our side. Huh? Until now, there's zero atheist, zero gays, zero lesbian, zero Hindu, zero Buddha, zero Christian, zero Jews in this country. Obviously, it's not a terrorist religion. To the point, everybody agree. <laughs> you know, when you see everybody agree, it's mean there is a terrorist controlling the vote. The whole country, not even a single one is an atheist, brother. A brother and sister, we Muslims in Islamic country will not have atheists. I will not have greed in lithium, Alhamdulillah. Because they kill them. So for those dummies who say we are right and they are wrong, and those who say they are wrong and we are right, doesn't matter what the church you belong to, I call you a bunch of dummies and you do not know Jesus. Is not having a picture in your church will make you a Christian or not. Even if it's wrong. Because if you speak against sin, you are a sinner. The same moment you are speaking against sin, you are a sinner. Each one of us. Hypocrisy is the paint of those people. Is the makeup. They have two faces. They have a face of sin and they have a face of holiness. When they want, they go after you word by word. You said this, you said that, you did this, you did that, but they don't see what they did. Jesus described them as those who clean the cup from outside, but the cup inside is filthy. So I say to those people who come and make comment, about Protestant and Catholic and Orthodox. Repent and come back to Jesus, otherwise all of you will end in hell. In Matthew chapter 7, the Lord, he says, watch out for false prophets who come to you in a sheep clothing. And this is exactly what those wolves are doing to you they made you believe that they are people to listen to they made you believe that they are the one who defend the faith but in fact they are the one who divide us and destroy us so the devil can conquer since the time of jesus there was people who betray betray jesus in the front of you, you three, the three Judas, as an example. So before you go and see the Pope, he said this. Let us see, you are Orthodox. How come you don't see the stupid bishops who even use the name of Allah in their churches in the Middle East? From the three churches. Not only they are doing false teaching, 
promoting Islam, glorifying Islam, glorifying Muhammad. Even they use the name of Allah in their churches. Hypocrite liars. If we ask those three, why Muhammad want to kill the Christians? Well, the answer already, they said, no, they don't. Muhammad, he don't want. We cannot link Islam to violence. The Pope, he said. Same as James White. And this one in the middle, he is a terrorist. He, he joined terror. He, you know, he support Yasser Arafat. He support Hamas. You know, he cursed the Jews every day. He wished that Jews would be killed. I don't know even how the... The state here, they give such a coward a visa to come to this country. I wish to meet him, by the way, because I want to give him a shower he deserves in person. Always you need to think carefully. Why those people they are being hypocrite. Why they are not telling the truth? Do you think really those three do not know? Do you think the guy in the middle, this Orthodox bishop, he do not know that the Muslims, they occupy the Holy Land and they force the Christians to practice the most humiliating rules made by Umar ibn Khattab? Go and read the Pact of Omar. To the point we Christian, we have to ride the donkey and our back to the head of the donkey. We have to shave the front of our head. If you want to wear a cross, we have to wear a cross weight more than eight or nine kilograms. We cannot ring a bell. We cannot fix a church. And we have to pay jizya as dogs and cats and pigs. He don't know. So why he support Hamas? Do you think James White he do not know that Muhammad he did, you know he is the one who ordered to slaughter and kill? Do you think James White he do not know that ISIS when they kill somebody they recite what Muhammad said? Do you think the coward, the Pope, he do not know that Islam is a religion of evil? Isn't it the Bible says who is the Antichrist? Who is the Antichrist? The one who denied the Father and the Son. Not to forget that Islam killed millions and millions and millions of Christians. All the land you see in the Middle East, this is used to be Christian land, invaded by Muhammad, the coward. They raped the women. They took the children as the slaves and then they forced them to convert to Islam. Ask yourself what happened to Turkey. The Christians in Turkey, they are not even 5 or 3 percent. The whole country became Muslims. What happened? How is that? How you occupy a country and then everybody became from one religion? And this is not Turkey. This is not the land of the Turkish. Don't you think the Pope, he knew that, and James White, he knew that, and this filthy bishop from the Orthodox Church doesn't know that? Don't they know that all the major mosques in the Middle East, they used to be churches, and the Muslims, they hijacked them? And the last one, just a few weeks ago, or a few months ago, and the coward Trump, he was posting about a dish he liked. He ignored it as nothing happened when Erdogan, he took our holy church in Constantinia. Do you think they don't know? Those are fraud. So I say to you, if you are proud to be a person who belong to a church, a church you belong. If you are a person proud to be following Jesus, to Jesus she belong. Which one you want? 
Which one? I will never shake hands with any of those cowards. And if his spitting is not in crime, I will spit on them. I see in the face of each one of them the coward, the terrorist Muhammad. They fool you, they lie to you, they don't want you to see the truth. When the Quran says, specifically, how Allah he ordered the Muslim to slaughter the Christians in chapter 33 verse number 26 and how to install terror in the heart of their women and children and then you see those cowards they say Islam has no link to terrorism and James White Muhammad Potato he say the one who says Islam as a whole is ISIS, Islam as a whole, Islam as part, is there is a part for religion? I mean, like the foot of Muhammad was good, the hand of Muhammad was bad? How silly, how stupid, how arrogant, how dummy. Just to earn the support of the Muslims, they say that. This is why you see those videos posted by Muslims, by the way. Are you still proud to be Catholic, following the Pope? Are you f still proud to be a Protestant, following James White? Are you still proud to be uh, Orthodox, following this Hannah, the Bishop, <laughs> the terrorist? Are you? So stop being proud about something is not there. Be proud about Christ, for He is the only one is holy. The rest are not. For he is the only one who don't change. For he is the only one who don't sugarcoat things. Anyone who follow anyone other than Christ is not a Christian. I don't care what the church name you say you belong to. I don't care what the name of the bishop you listen to. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. Anyone when I insult the word Pope, I will block you because we are talking about specific Pope, not the Pope, not any Pope. Don't be stupid. We are talking about specific Protestant man, not all the Protestant. We are talking about a specific Bishop of the Orthodox, not all the Orthodox. So anyone want to say stupid things in the chat, I will send you free shipping and hand it into Allah. But today I decide to show you an example of those who try to deceive our children. How we know that a priest is not serving the devil? Very simple. Listen to them. From their fruit you shall know them. The Bible says whoever denies the Father, the Son is Antichrist. That's it. So why the sugar quote Islam? I mean, every single week there is a terrorist attack done by Islamic religion. Then they say to us, we don't, we don't think we try to link Islam and terrorism. So what about Muhammad, who killed the Christians and the Jews, who said in chapter 9, verse 29, kill them, kill the Christian, kill the Jews, either they convert or they have to pay to live. Why? My friend, we are talking about all of them. Should we put all the pictures of all the guys, all the liars? What do you want to do? Like put you 70, 80 uh, picture, a person in one picture? <laughs> People are funny. We just, you get the message, don't you? Don't, be, don't play stupid. 
The message is, from every church, there's a Judah. The message is, that is not a church we follow. We follow the correct teaching. The one who denied Jesus is anti-Jesus. And the one who should go quote the one who denied Jesus and killed the followers of Jesus, obviously he is against Jesus. It doesn't matter what the church it is. It doesn't matter what the name. Why people didn't want to use their brain? Why? You, you, until now, there's some people think I'm talking about against the Catholic or against the Protestant. Or you dummy, dummy. People are dummy. Don't get married. If you are married, I feel sorry for your wife. Somebody saying, "Are you none domination?" There's nothing it's called domination anyway. That's that is even funny, more funny. What does that mean? Like did Jesus he hold a banner behind him saying, "This is my domination"? Funny people, unreal, far away from Christ. Did Jesus divide the churches? Did he say to you, "Hey, hey, Peter, you are a church." Hey, uh, you know, you, you are, uh, John, you are a church by yourself, huh? And yeah, I want many churches, okay? You know, don't be uh, one church, uh, I divide. Yeah, because we wanna, uh, it's more fun. That is not Christ. That is not a Christ. And I know my words are very tough for many, but who care? I say it as it is. Take it or leave it. Hate me. Who care? The Bible says, because of me, you will be, people will hate you. People will kill you. Time will come and people will think by killing you, they are doing favor to God. So when we speak about a Protestant or Orthodox or Catholic, we speak about individual, don't speak about leaders. Mostly, most of those leaders, they are hypocrite, they are doing a political job. It is a politics, but politics is not Christianity no more. So be aware of false teachers. Did the Pope ask himself, this funny Pope, stupid Pope, Muhammad Pope, did he ask himself how many Catholic they will believe what he just said that we cannot link Islam to terrorism? Did, is he? Isn't he? Can he? How he can go to sleep after that? How many Catholic women they will hear this and will say, "Okay, so Islam is good religion. I can marry a guy from ISIS now." Same for James White, for so for, for the same guy from the Orthodox Church. Those cowards, they make me sick. AJ, don't come here again. I just blocked you. I warned you many times. An example of lonely people who are trying to find somebody to love. Be careful, my friend. Islam is a very ugly cult. And whoever promote such a cult, he is not serving Christ. Even Muhammad, because he loves us so much, he claimed that his God, Allah, he is going to put all the sin of the Muslims, all the sin of the Muslims, even if it's like mountains, he will place it in the top of us. And they say to you, why there is ISIS and there is why there is Al Qaeda? I don't want to keep you long waiting here and I'm going to disable the comment in this video because I know there's some dummies who will start talking attacking each other and even Muslim they will play you know Protestant and Catholic and if you copy my video do me a favor and disable the comment section there's a lot of dummies there they hear the word from one ear 
the, we, the word did not even go in. It come out from their nose. Stupid they are born. Stupid they will die. So my friend, if you are a Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox, for me you are my brother and sister in Christ. What important about you is not the name of the church you go to, the important is you. It's not the name of the bishop, the important is you. In the judgment day, God will not ask you which bishop you follow, which bishop he teach you. He will punish them for their lies, but he will punish you too for believing in their lies and following them. Always examine the spirit according to the Bible. Those who promote the Antichrist religion, they cannot be Christians. As simple as that, it doesn't matter how big the cross they wear. It doesn't matter how big or small the hat, the chimney they have in their head. And the chimney is getting bigger and bigger and bigger because there's a lot of smoke coming from the house of the devil. We are here to expose Muhammad in the same time, Muhammad is no different than all the other liars, like those men. He is just another liar. Jesus says that the devil is the father of all lies, and those are his children. So are you going to belong to those children, the children of the devil, the false bishops? or you want to follow Jesus. So I spoke my words for those who have ears, and those who don't, they will not hear it. The Bible speaks about those who their heart is sealed, and they claim that they don't understand, and there's tons of verses about that. I advise you, my friend, to read the Bible and to listen to Christ. Don't listen to any human being, for all men are corrupt. If we are not sinners, why Jesus is here anyway? He is here because this world is full of liars. Why they crucify Jesus anyway? Because he was saying the truth in a society nobody want to hear the truth. And if you say the truth, they will try to crucify you. And this is why those three businessmen, we showed you example, they are successful businessmen. They are doing business. They are just doing business. So don't follow businessmen. Jesus said, I am the truth. And the truth will set you free. So with the Christ you are free, with those dummies you are a slave of those dummies and you will go with them to hell. So choose what you want to be. And if somebody says to you, you will be saved only if you are Orthodox, or only if you are Catholic, or only if you are Protestant, laugh at him. Tell him, I will be saved only if I follow Jesus and you will see how stupid he will look like. You will see how dummy he will look like in a second. For Jesus is the only savior, no priest, no bishop, nobody else. I hope that my message is received and the smart they learned and they will teach their children not to divide us anymore. I advise you if you are a Catholic to teach your children that the Protestant are our family. The Orthodox are your family. Any of those churches, our church, as long as the teacher are there, is not sugarcoating things and he is not dividing us. And don't worry even about the teacher, for only the only teacher is we should listen to is the Christ the Lord. The Messiah is the living. God 
in the same time he is the walking talking living word of God that is the only word we have to walk with listen to and do what that word does anyone else is not even worth your minute or a second of your time don't listen to me I'm not the one who can guide you to heaven it's Christ me myself I need him so how I can help you me myself I need his him to save me so how I can save you so now if I wear a bishop hat it doesn't make me any different person I'm still the same person don't be fooled by names and titles and be aware of false teachers so I love you all Christians and when I say Christian I mean Catholic Protestant Orthodox and Christian is the only name given to us in the Bible and even they say to you some they say to you but do you know that the one who don't believe they are the one who call you Christian thank God they gave us that name because there's no better name than Christ so if you choose to say to call yourself Catholic look like you are not proud enough to be Christian to follow Christ or if you choose to say I'm Protestant look like you don't care of the name of Christ and you think the name Protestant is better than the name of Christ and if you think it's so good to call yourself Orthodox <laughs> what happened to Christ then is not your God Christ is the only one we belong to there's no master there's no teacher there's no one there's no prophet we don't even follow prophet we follow Jesus all the prophet they came to serve the king of the kings we are not there to follow them we are there to follow God our Lord our Savior prophets are people like us and they themselves they commit sin too prophets are nothing but employees for God nothing more nothing less same as angels even though we cannot compare somehow but even angels they are employees for God we don't worship angels there's only one we belong to and only fools they forgot the important this is why Jesus he said to Martha 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 the important is one but you are busy with many things the important is one and you know his name thank you for being here may the Lord bless you all I pray for the Lord that's all of us we will pray this Sunday to be united Christians to be Orthodox Protestant Catholic one family and not to let the devil divide us never let the devil Muhammad divide you he said to you clearly in the Quran that I'm going to divide those Christians I am going to make them hate each other he said that in the Quran chapter 5 verse 14 so when you divide the family of a Christ you are serving the devil Muhammad with no question and the proof in front of your eyes you are serving the plan of the devil Allah you are serving the devil of Isis you are serving serving the devil of CIA who they are the one who support Isis and support Al-Qaeda and support Taliban and now they claim that they are the enemy and now they are friends again don't be like those people don't be an ISIS CIA member be pure be godly be truthful say it as it is and if your brother in Christ he do wrong in some practice remember you do the same too before you see you know the little thing in the eye of your brother what about the tree in your eye you don't see it, don't you? Thank you, and God bless you, and I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. So are the teachers who they promote and defend this cult. We don't know them, and the Lord do not know them, and they will go to where they belong. And you know where they belong. From their fruits, you shall know them. God bless you. Love you all. Take care.